What's going on, everybody? And welcome this evening to another episode of the Hot Toys Lounge. I am your sole proprietor of this establishment, your one six scale supreme leader. That's right, it's me, bask in my glory. So, what is going on, everybody? And welcome. So, looking forward to, um, yeah, going over some hot toys with you tonight. And also, George will be jumping on with me about around 8.30 to talk about the 20,000 subscriber giveaway announcement. We've got something really cool planned for you guys. So, can't wait to show you guys what's going on with that. So, with that being said, let's see what's going on in the chat. Let's see how many people we got. We got people coming in, so I'll give it a couple extra minutes. So again, how is everyone doing? <clears throat> so let's see what we got going on. We got Ethan Guzman. We got Neck, Neck and Baser. How you doing? If I pronounce that wrong, I'm sorry. We got my man CMD Geek. We got the greatest name in YouTube alive, King Dingaling. What is up, King Dingaling? We got my man Christopher Redalzo in the chat. Dude, the Marvel Masterpiece cards, I shot that video today. It will actually be up tomorrow. So if you want to check out the, the box set of Marvel Master cards I bought, I open up all the packs. It'll be tomorrow's video. We got, let's see who we got. The chat's really jumping now. We got Edwin Diaz. We got my man Richard Melendez. We got Noah. We got Geoforce Racing. We got Paul Rip. What is up, man? Everything is good. We got Jason. We got Karina. We got Project Collect. We got King Benny. We got Gen R6. We got Marcos with the Collector Zone. What is up, Marcos? We've got High Elevations. We got Antonio Cruz. We got Jason Garcia. We got Optimus 21. We got Roger. We got Robert. We got Bob the Great. So what is up, <clears throat> everybody? Uh, Captain Remus, how you doing, buddy? My man Hank Craig with half-assed reviews. If you're not doing it half-assed, you're not doing it right. <laughs> we got Stephen G. What's up? Antonio Cruz, right guy 75. What is going on? J Rod. Yo, yo, yo. So Nathaniel, what's up? Kenneth Bird, what is happening, guys? Thank you for joining us tonight. So for those of you that are jumping in the chat right now, um, I will go over the hot toy that we have. Um, George will be jumping on with me in about 20-something minutes, and uh, we'll announce the uh, the giveaway and what we're doing for 20,000 subs. So thank you, guys. Jason, it was good seeing you too, man. Soda Pop, what up? King Dingling, Seth, your next hot toy grail should be the 89 Keaton Batman. Um... As much as I love Keaton, I've got something else in mind um, as far as like what my next big major hot toy purchase is going to be. I have something else in mind that I've been working on. Um, get that unboxed already. We got football coming on soon. I know, bro. Listen, I play fantasy football too, man. I'm right there with you. So trust me, I'd rather be watching the football game than <laughs> being live with you guys. <laughs> have you ever had Marvel Legends 4-pack before? Like what, Noah? As far as what? The hottest the hottest toys. A second Hulk Buster. Geoforce Racing. Um, maybe sooner rather than later, bro. Maybe sooner than rather than later. I don't know. It all depends. So 20 subs. Congrats, bro. Killing it. Thanks, man. My boy Miro in AEW, though. Yeah, I saw that last night, man. That's something that we're going to talk about Saturday night. So shh. Don't spoil it. Get a Star Wars hot toy for the unbox. No, I don't. I don't do Star Wars. That's not my jam, dude. So, yeah, that's not my jam. But however, let's go ahead and let's get this going. So, without further ado, guys, I have the Justice League. Ooh, Superman. So, this is awesome. Um, I've been trying to track this one down for a while. Um, it turned out one of my local uh, shops had it here, so I was able to get it. Um, this was definitely going to be a hard one to acquire, and I'm glad it turned out not to be as hard as I thought it was going to be. So as you guys can see right here, we've got Superman on the box with the Justice League L. We got Superman on the other side, Superman on that side, 
On the top, it says Superman. On the bottom, it says Justice League. And then on the back, it says you can't save the world alone. And it has all the information of all the people who were involved of making this hot toy. So pretty cool. The MCE, I know we can get your 20K. Oh, I thought it was Wonder Woman. <laughs> nice. Are you getting the Batman vs. Superman armored hot toy? Cellcom, I've seen that one. I like that one a lot. It is really cool. So let's go ahead and start with this. And like I said, guys, George will be jumping on in about 25 minutes. So just bear with me. <clears throat> All right. That on the floor. We got stuff underneath here. Yep. All right. We got stuff underneath here. All right, guys. So obviously, right here. Let me uh, let me switch camera views real fast. Let me switch camera views. Let me switch my camera views. And there we go. All right. <clears throat> Got some light right there. So as you guys can see, um, it does come with some hands, which is pretty cool. So we've got some open hands, some closed hand. He's got a hand like he's waving or he's going to slap somebody. So let's open that up and take a look at some of his hands. <clears throat> so here's like an open grasping hand kind of. If you guys can see. It's got pretty good details on it. The fingernails are pretty clean. It's got the lines and everything for like the veins and all the texturing and everything of like an actual hand. So pretty cool. And then we've got these hands. I'm assuming if like you want to put them while he's flying, these are when he's kind of like woo flying. So this hand is more like way open. You guys can see. That might be better or not. Or well, let's do it this way, maybe. That's better, if you guys can see. And then we've got one that's more um, grasping, more closed. So, again, with the details, with the hands. Um, you know, Superman isn't a character that comes with a whole lot of accessories, I'm assuming. So let's open this up and see what we got. All right, we'll put Superman to the side for right now. Okay. Base. So here is the base. The base is almost identical to the one for Batman. So you can see right here it says Justice League, and then it says Superman on it. And it's basically that same iron metal type base that um, there was for Batman when we did the uh, the tactical suit Batman. So it says Justice League, and then the plate says Superman on it. So pretty cool. And then we've got, obviously, the rod that goes for the display. It's got a hook. Um, there is an alternate portrait that comes with this, and it actually lights up. I wonder how the head comes apart for that. But we'll have to figure that out. But here's the alternate portrait, which is really cool. And this is the one where the eyes light up, where he's doing the laser beams. So if you guys can see it, really good, really, really, really good head portrait. So it's really cool. I like this a lot. I like Henry, Henry Canville's portrait. They're pretty good. They're pretty close. You know, I would say, again, I've said this a bunch of times, out of all the portraits that Hot Toys makes... I think the best one and the most accurate one they make is of Robert Downey Jr. But this is pretty damn close. 
Yeah, it is missing. It is missing the mustache portrait. It should have had. This should have been a sideshow exclusive with the more with the mustache portrait. <laughs> so that's pretty cool though. With the with the eyes, the eyes light up, and obviously we got the uh, the batteries right here for it. So I'll have to figure that out after the stream, and then I'll obviously I'll do what I always do. I'll take some pictures and post it up on Instagram for you guys. So again, I live in Florida. I don't like to live live the leave the batteries in because you know they corrode. So, but pretty good portrait. So, all right, that's really basically it. Um, you know what? Let me see. Uh, George, give me a thumbs up in the chat if you want to jump on now. I didn't realize how fast. I thought this would have had more accessories. I guess not. So, but we could talk about we could talk about the giveaway and then uh, and then do that. So, let me know if you're ready, George. Give me a thumbs up. I know he's on, Craig. I know he's on. Let me know in the group one sec. <laughs> let me let the group know one sec. Let me switch my camera back in the meantime. All right. I am itching for that football game, dude. When you when you play in a big money fantasy league, yeah, you would be itching for that shit too. It is like crack. Damn, I thought you wanted George to jump jump on you in private. What? Superman the high the high lane the ripoff, lol. <laughs> I can't believe there's no Canville Witcher merch figs. I don't know. They might, you know, listen, when it comes to, when it comes to stuff, it's always about acquiring the licenses. And if these companies can actually acquire it, CMD geek, I can't wait for the Snyder cut too. That looks freaking amazing. Hopefully it'll definitely clarify some questions people had about the movie. So. <clears throat> What's the deal, yo, George? Seth, all the 90 holics want to hear. Hot toys, hot toys, hot toys. What's up, tall man? All right, let's go. We are adding the Medina. Let's go. What's up? <laughs> Everybody, the one, the only, the leader of this amazing, wonderful channel. Your very own Medina Lorian. I had this whole plan, you know. I was gonna be playing my video game, and then when you when you're gonna tune me in, I was be like, "Oh, hello there." Oh, hey, <laughs> hey there! I didn't, I didn't see you. I didn't see you. <laughs> that, was, that was my thought was gonna be. Um, yeah, man. Yeah. So twenty thousand subscribers. Hey, and, and just to let you guys know, beyond this giveaway that we're doing for the twenty thousand subscribers, we actually also have a few other giveaways going on right now. So uh, before I get into what the 20,000 subscriber uh, giveaways are going to be, um, we, we currently have a lightsaber giveaway going on. So if you guys are into lightsabers, I have a lightsaber video. Uh, a, um, uh, it was a mystery box that I did. And we're almost at the 4,000 views that we need to be able to give that away. So that's going to be happening pretty soon. I'm also giving away some G.I. Joe action figures. If you guys are into the uh, classified series, I'm doing that on my personal Instagram page. So you guys want to, you know, join there, follow there, and um, and then you know you can be you can enter in to win on that. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for twenty thousand subscribers. Seth and I have been doing this now for close to five years, right, bro? Close to five long. years. Bro? Too it feels, too long. Yeah, too it feels long. like it's been long. <laughs> Listen, people have that people have been asking me. I don't think in I don't think within the past three years. I've missed putting out a Tuesday video. I don't think you have either, man. I know and I've taken a couple breaks here and there, but I don't think you have. I, I'm. I, it's like it's. It, you know what it is. The problem is, is that it's become so second nature mm -hmm. that it, it's just a way of life at this point. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It, it exactly. It's like I feel mm -hmm. like if I'm not putting out a video, something's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For real. For real. So. We appreciate you guys for hanging out with us all these years and um, and following us and you know commenting on the videos and uh, making fun of us when we're when we're uh, goofing off and uh, all the you know all the things that we've been doing. It's been a lot of laughs, a lot of crying, everything. 
the hate, <laughs> the, the hate, the happiness, the the fat, the fat comments, all the rude comments. We love it all. It's great. I get it's more great. hate than George does, though. So eh, I get my share. I don't know, man. I called the dude a flipper, a flipper on my last video, dude, and people were just like, "How do you know he's not? How do you know he's flipping? How do you know he's not buying it for a friend?" <laughs> you know, it's like what ha It's like what happens if he wants to army build? So well, let's clarify something right here. Why I have this forum? Okay? okay. I called him a flipper, not because he was he had Cobra Troopers. I called him a flipper because he had beachheads. Okay, mm. you can't army build with a beachhead. Mm. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. You got a point. You got a point. Can't Skills army power build says his body's ready for a giveaway. The what? <laughs> Skills Power says his body is ready for the giveaway. Well, 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 you gotta listen. There's gonna be um. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna announce exactly right now what we're gonna be giving away. But then we'll yeah. be putting out a separate video of what you actually have to do to enter the giveaway. Right. So, so the actual giveaway itself, where when the giveaway actually physically starts, is once we hit the twenty thousand subscribers. Right now we're like on like less than two hundred away. Right. We're, we're, really uh, we're, we're less than a hundred. We're less than 150 away right now. Less than 150 away. So we're, we're really close already. Um, so as soon as we get to 20,000 subscribers, I'm going to have uh, one of these. Uh, it's going to, it's going to be kind of, I want to say it's a questionnaire. It's, it's more like a, a list of things that you can do to participate in the giveaway. And it's going to range from anything like, you know, watching the videos, commenting on the videos, subscribing, obviously to the, uh, the channels that we, uh, say to subscribe to, and all of this is going to give you extra points into the uh, giveaway. So you're going to have multiple chances to uh, to gain entries into what we have, and what we have are some pretty badass prizes. So, 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 so we've actually got some people, a few people asking, is mm -hmm. that Gambit sitting next to you going to be part of that giveaway? Nah, nah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. I wouldn't have it on the table if it wasn't. So let's let's start off with the first giveaway, and then we'll move on to this guy. I know this is the one that everybody's gonna be like all over about. We're doing so, what? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> what? So the first giveaway that we have that's gonna be for the twenty thousand subscribers is given to us by Collector Zone. So big thanks to Marcos for the hookup on this one. So what we have for Hot Toys collectors, Star Wars collectors, is a uh, Jawa and EG Six Power Droid uh, collectible set. So there's the box right there. It's hold on, hold, hold on a second. Let's let's you, get that. Let, let, let's get you up on the full screen so people can see. People right, don't so want to see me. They want to see what we're giving away. Here is the uh, the first of the, the the second prize giveaways. Basically, what this is going to be. So uh, this one here again was brought to brought to us by Collector Zone. So you know, big thanks to him for the hook and up if on you that. Get, and if you guys don't know about the zone, you need to get in the Collector Zone. Go check out the Collector Zone. Use the code MCE at checkout and get 5% off your first purchase. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's all purchases, not just the first oh, purchase. Oh, all purchases. All right. Yeah. Well, get them off all purchases. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, yes, this is going to be the second prize giveaway. So, one of you lucky guys are going to get this. And I think this is pretty cool. It's because I wouldn't normally, you know, go around out and buy a jowl. Uh, but the eyes light up on that. Yeah, the eyes light up. And I think it's dope, you know. And, and again, this is not the character that I go run out. If I had the opportunity to spend 260 bucks on a hot toy, I'm probably going to run out and go get like a Mandalorian or, or something like that. But, you know, at least here, save one of you guys some cash to uh, to stock up on your Star Wars figures. This thing's pretty dope. So I think I'm going to keep, uh, yeah, I am. I'm going to keep this thing sealed up for you guys. So whoever gets this is going to get a brand new in the box, untouched by me, other than the caressing that I'm doing right now. Unto unto untouched. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The grand prize is the XM Studios Gambit. Now, you guys saw my comparison. Yeah, I know, right? It's a big one. I'm going to keep doing that. What? <laughs> so you guys saw my comparison of the two Gambits. I still think this Gambit is a very badass piece. Uh, I just like the Sideshow Gambit much better. So I figured that, you know, why not, you know, hook you guys up with this one? This is one from my personal collection, um, one that I picked up uh, initially, uh, actually, to do the comparison. So... I just figured, you know, it'd be cool now that we hit 20,000 for you guys to get something badass like this that's really hard to get. So, the Troll Patrol, if I win it, I will sell it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is this is the piece right here. Uh, it's going to come complete with, you know, every, all the accessories, obviously, the art print, including that little uh, metal plaque that you get with the, with the statue. Uh, the only thing that we ask for the winner, whoever wins these, is that they cover the shipping because, um, 
it's, it may be kind of heavy with the shipping because it's a big piece. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, so this is going to be what the giveaways are. Again, we have to get to 20,000 subscribers before uh, we start the whole process. And then uh, so this is this is our way of giving back to you guys and making MCE what it is. It's a fun, cool place to come hang out with your favorite cast members. I say cast members like we're fucking working for Disney. So it's like, like yeah, so it's like, you know, you come hang out with George, you come hang out with me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you come hang out with me, you come hang out with George, Junior, Calvin, you know, Chad, you know, all the guests that we that we have on at times. I mean, you know, MCE is a huge network for for everyone. Um granted, yeah, me and George, you know, handle the majority of the channel but we appreciate you know calvin and junior and chad when they come on and all that other stuff and again this is just a cool way of me and george being able to give back to you guys and we're just super excited that we even got the twenty thousand, man i mean yeah. that we're gonna get there i mean it, it's been it's been unreal and i mean honestly i feel like we came out of quarantine and me and you just hit the ground running dude uh yeah i know we yeah, can we, we've been pretty good yeah, it's been, it's we came. Wow. We came out of quarantine, and I mean, me and George, we're on a we're on a mission right now. We want to be, you know, not to be competitive. And let, let me ju let me just say this the right the right way, okay? There is enough for room for everybody in YouTube to do whatever they want to do, whether it's collecting TV, whatever you guys want to talk about. My problem is is that I want to be the best at what I do, and. That's what me and, and, and that's what me and George want to do. We want to be the best. We want to be the best on YouTube. We want to be the number one channel that you guys come to for collecting news, statues, toy hunts, collectibles, reviews, trailers, wh whatever you guys want us to do, the wrestling show, whatever. The geek show, we just want to be the number one spot for you guys to come to and that's and that's what it's about and that's the goal that me and George are working working towards. And again, we can't do this without you guys. So we love you guys. We appreciate everything you do for the channel. So yeah, thank Absolutely. you. Um, somebody asked earlier, I think was his name was Roger. He asked if, if he's already a subscriber, can is, can is he participate? Obviously, yes. If you're a subscriber to the channel, yes, you're already uh, a participant in that sense. That'll, that'll get you at least one entry into it is because that's one of the, the, the criteria for being uh, in the contest. Um, for some of the prizes, like the one from uh, Collector Zone, you know, there's going to be other things that are required, like you know, subscribing to their channel, uh, you know, going to their Collector Zone Cantina, um, and you know, checking out their their groups and seeing all that. So there's going to be other options for you guys to enter into both prizes, um, and then and then that's where we're going to go. And then at the end, uh, we'll pick a winner, and you know, one per one look two lucky people are going to win, and it'll be awesome. So <laughs> you know, shoot, I think this is what. Pretty what dope. if my what if my what if my subscriptions are set to private? Are set to private? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Set it to yeah. on private. Set it to on private, so obviously <laughs> you can join. I mean, I don't I don't see why we wouldn't be able to see if you're if you're a subscriber or not. The <laughs> form is really what is so the and if you you've probably seen these type of forms before, with the Sideshow uses the same thing, and we've done them before in the past on other giveaways. It, it's going to be on a on a site that we're going to give you guys a link to, and basically when you take and you subscribe to the channel. It gives us uh, an alert that lets us know, you know, how many times you guys have entered into the to the different parts of the of the contest. So I'll have like your name, and it'll say this person's completed, you know, watching this video, commenting here, subscribing to the channel, doing this, and then it'll, it'll rack up as many points as you can get towards the entry. So that's basically how it's going to work. So when people put that, like, what if I set my thing to private? The first thing that pops into my head is that song. I always feel like somebody's watching me. <laughs> And I get no privacy. Oh, <laughs> you know, get used to your singing, bro. I do. People love it when I sing. <laughs> I don't know why. I know I'm the worst singer in the world, but people just seem to like it. <laughs> just saying. So yeah, man. So again, guys, really thank you so much for getting us this far. And um, we got something lined up for the twenty-five thousand giveaway also already. And as soon as we get done with this, I'll let you guys know what that one is right away. And if you think this is big, let you see the next one. So it's going to be pretty badass. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm pumped, dude. I can't, I can't wait to see what happens with this, uh, with this XM gambit. I mean, oh man, so beautiful. Do we have to give it away? Can I just take it from you? 
<laughs> and Junior said that. Junior's like, yo, can I answer? <laughs> it's like, what does Junior care? Junior sold off all his Marvel shit. I know. He's like, but I want to enter into it. I'm like, nah, man. <laughs> so... Yeah. Chad, Chad is saying, "Damn, I should have never, I should have never joined the panel, missing out on some great prizes." <laughs> <laughs> it's too late, Craig. You're an honorary member already, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> what so. is this? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's 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 awesome. What is it? Seth could do a music video for his Hot Toys. I hey, I could do, easily write some lyrics, and George can film it, and you know, maybe we can even so. get maybe OG to choreograph it. You know. And uh, you know, do some dance moves, be like some Paula, Paula, Paula. What is it, Paula Abdul? Yeah, we'll, we'll get Straight sick. Up one. Now tell me, do you want to buy some hot toys forever? Yeah, sick uh, one to be like a backup dancer. Yeah, sick, sick one, <laughs> sick one can produce it. Sick hey. one can produce that shit. <laughs> He's got a studio. I'll drive to Orlando and go, go fucking hit up his studio. Bob is like, as a consolation prize, you can get Junior's collection. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, man, yeah, probably from his dead corpse, bro. It's gonna be hard to pull that from him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, I feel I feel bad, you know. And listen, this is just a proven this is just a proven theory in life that women live longer than men. What? It just is. So it's a proven theory. Women just right. happen to live longer than men, just because men do stupider Stupid shit. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, but being that being said, God forbid. I, I don't wish anything bad on anybody, but God forbid something ever happens to Junior. What the hell is his wife going to do with all those statues? Oh, actually, that falls on me. Oh, Between, oh so you've already been bequeathed uh, yeah. to... to uh, yeah, for him and for Calvin. Calvin told me the same thing. He called me up the other day. Hey, if anything happens to me, I want you to help, uh, you know, uh, 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 sell, draw on a blank. Off, sell off the collection. Yeah. Yeah, forgot the worst thing. Uh, yeah, they take it, sell off the the, the collection. So I gotta help him. I gotta help him. Eric. I gotta help him sell off the uh, the collection. Yo, so, my man, insane goon with the super chat. Hey, hey, thank you. What's up, bro? What's going on? Appreciate that. Yeah. So Junior told me the same thing. Junior is like, hey, if anything happens to me, you gotta help her sell the sell the stuff off. I was like, all right, I got you. Well, it was funny because no. like Melissa asked me that the other night. She's like, mm -hmm. oh, what do you? She's like, what am I supposed to do if something happens to you? I was like. Just call George. I'm like George will know what to do. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. I'm like call, I'm like I'm like just call George. I'm like George. George will know what to do. George will know how to get you the most bang for your buck. You know the only thing is is that George is only going to ask for the Hulkbuster in return as a form of payment. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, you got the Revan lightsaber, bro. Congrats, man. I love that lightsaber, bro. I love it. I'm gonna pick and put it. My idea is to put it now. Like I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah. Okay. So I got some of the lightsabers mounted. So I'm gonna have the lightsaber in the center, like vertical. So I, I got some stands that I'm going to take and put up there and everything. It's going to take me a little bit. but uh, in, in St. Goon says, that's my dolphin noise in the text, LOL. <laughs> 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 All so, yeah, man. So that's it, bro. Do you want me to bounce out so you can uh, finish no, up your- you, uh, can, you, can, you, can, you can hang if you want. I'm, I'm, that's, up, right. that's up to you, man. All right, man. I've never been in a Hot Toys lounge before. I feel like I need a drink. Oh. Well, yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome to. Oh, we got Optimus okay. Twenty One dropping, dropping a dollar. Thank, Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Your dollar goes a long way in the lounge. How many people in the chat, man? Uh, we've got ninety-seven people watching right now. Nice, which is nice. You at at Seth vacation at the Hot Toys Lounge, Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> Antonio Cruz, what happens if George goes before you guys? <laughs> Oh well, that's well, that well, that well, that's easy. I'm sure George. I'm sure. I'm sure George will tell his wife to reach out, reach out to either me or Calvin or Junior. You yeah. know, you know. In that say, case, I'm putting it on Craig. Craig will be Craig. I'm gonna move Craig. it around the room a little bit. You know, we'll give it to Craig to, to take care of. So, Craig, you're in charge, bro. <laughs> All right, so let me just boost this up on the big screen real fast. Um, this Superman is actually really cool. Um, the suit is freaking amazing. The detail on this suit is really, really cool. The only thing that I'm disappointed about as I'm holding it in my hands right now is the cape. The cape is just, you know, a mixed media cape, but there's no there's no wire wiring or anything, so you can't really pose the um, the cape, which kind of sucks. Because I would have liked to have like a cape with wire in it, so we can do like. Maybe like if I put it on the stand, we could have done like a cool like flying thing. That's how I felt about the uh, about the uh, Malgus, the two Malgus, the statue and the, the the figure that I unboxed. Sick! What's up, dude? Jesus, man, freaking plastic is so such a bitch to get off of these things. Oh, yeah. 
All right. There That's how go. I feel like when I'm in the bed and everything. She's like, you got it out yet? <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, sorry, honey. The rubber broke. Ian says he just arrived. Did he miss anything? Yes, Ian, you missed yes, something. Yes, you missed the giveaway you announcement. missed the giveaway already. You lost out on the Gambit statue. But, you can, watch the, but you can watch the replay. <laughs> but you can watch the replay. Got Gabe on the chat. What's up, man? How you been, bro? All right. There we go. And let's take off the head and boom. George, That's, I – Have you dropped anything yet, bro? No, I haven't dropped anything yet today. Nice. Thanks for jinxing it, Dick. All right. Sorry. So, by the way, I'm going to make my screen really big real fast nice. so I can show you guys the Superman. So, hold on one sec. And here you go. Here you guys can see the suit. The suit is – suit. That dude, honestly – there's a big difference in the blue that they used mm -hmm. on this suit compared to the one that they did for the Man of Steel. The mm -hmm. Man of Steel suit was a little darker. This one's more brighter, and I, ha I actually happen to like the blue on this a lot better. I'm digging it. Let me ask this you a question, though. Is that the same type of issue like with the other suits that if uh, if you start to pose it, it's going to yeah, make the suit? Yeah, if, yeah, if you start to move the arms a certain a certain way, the um, the suit, yeah, you could, you could rip rip the seams. Okay. So the whole point is not to rip the seams. Don't cross the seams. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so there's your Star Wars reference. There's your Ghostbusters reference. I'm losing my mind. The boots are actually really cool. The boots actually got some texture to it. And uh -huh. dude, the freaking portrait that they did of, of uh, Henry Canville is freaking amazing. There's the portrait. If you guys can, wow. you can see yeah, it. That one looks like him. The I other one. I the mustache. The other one where he's got the red eyes, I, that one actually looks like the CGI mustache to me, in my opinion. Well, Something about so. the way the, the, the lip area is just doesn't look right. Yeah, it's kind of shaded. Like he's got like five o'clock shadow. It's a little weird. Yeah, <laughs> it, is a little, it is a little weird, but I'm going to have to read the instructions and see where the batteries go in this thing. Okay. So, but I'll take the, I'll do that later afterwards and I'll post the pictures out to my Instagram so you guys can see that. And then also if you guys are in the Marvelous Knights uh, Facebook group, I'll post the pictures there and you guys can see that, see that there. But again, man, this suit is really great. The portrait is freaking awesome. Um, Gabriel, which is your favorite Superman actor? Oh, it's Christopher Reeves, dude. I'm always been a big Christopher Reeves guy. Superman one and Superman two, anything after that is garbage. And if you even bring up that piece of shit, the quest for peace, we're going to have a problem. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is this is really cool, man. The suit on this is nice. This is probably one of the nicest Supermans I've seen I've seen yet. I actually even kind of like this better than the uh, the Christopher Reeves one. I like the suit on this, man. This suit is nice. Again, the only issue I have with this is I wish the cape had does wiring cape, in it. Does the cape attach with magnets, or how does the cape attach? Uh, no, the, the cape, the cape, the cape is in there. Is in there. Okay. Yep. The cape is in there. However, there is a zipper on the back. Okay. Because what I've seen people doing with this is that they're not happy with um, the body. Mm -hmm. So people have actually been replacing the body with a third party body to make it fill the suit more. Okay. So, and the boots, the boots too are all one, one piece. So there is a little bit of wrinkling in the boots, but that's I guess that's normal for what you could expect for this. But this is really this is really cool, man. I happen to like this a lot. This is a really great figure. I'm glad I picked this up. Um, did I overpay for it? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, it's sold out. It's sold out everywhere. So it's kind of you know you're kind of stuck at that point. You don't have a choice. True. Um, but yeah, super super cool because it's Superman. Get it? <laughs> Super so, duper. Oh, we got Junior's in the chat. What is up, Junior? Junior! I love seeing Seth playing with his toys. <laughs> you know, Junior? Is that what she said? <laughs> you know, Junior? You know what I'm going to say? Dude, please don't take this the wrong way. I love you, man. But eat a dick, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, hot fucking piping bag of dicks. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. That's all I had to say about that. <laughs> Once again, I can't. When if my settings are on private, hey Seth, did you hear about NYCC having their virtual convention on the 14th of this month? Yeah, I just saw something about that. I don't know, you know, I don't know, man. I mean, honestly, the only, I mean, I don't even know if they're going to release anything. I know, I know within, I know next in the next two weeks. Me and oh, let me put Georgia back up on the screen. Mm -hmm. 
I know in the next two weeks, me and George have got to pay attention for um, Hasbro, um, the Hasbro Pulse uh, stream. Yeah, the con. So they're doing they're they're releasing they're releasing some stuff, and mm -hmm. uh, you know we're gonna probably we're probably if 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 we're available we'll probably stream that stream and also be commenting kind of like what we did with the sideshow mm -hmm. thing you know just to see what kind of Hasbro stuff got coming out whether it's like GI Joes or Marvel Legends or Black well, that's Series. definitely coming out it's because yeah. I know that I know the middle of this month at some point where are we at we're at the tenth so at least yeah, by next like week the, yeah I think it was like the twenty third or the twenty fifth or something yeah but. Like that. Either which is probably going to land on that day more than likely, but you got at least next week or the week after they're going to release the uh, the Supreme Cobra Commander. So that's going to be coming out in the middle of the month, and then October first is going to be the uh, Black Series Cad Bane that special edition box that they just released uh, overseas for the uh, convention exclusive. So um, there's that too. So th those are the two that I'm looking for at least. What's up, Mister and Mrs. Funko Mania, and what is up, AJ Collectibles? What's going on, guys? Um, yeah, the figures are releasing on the 23rd and the 24th exclusives to buy. There you go. That's good. News. That's good information to yep. know. There you go. So yeah, we're going to be buying, we're going to be buying some shit, maybe some more GI Joes because God forbid. Yep. I'm definitely in. I'm all in on those. I got to finish that set. I'm almost done. <laughs> Actually, I just got word that my, uh, my gold, uh, Destro is shipping. Oh, so. you're pimped. Oh, you did. Oh, you did. You caved. You caved and got the pimped out Destro. Yeah, 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 I gotta finish the set, bro. I'm a completionist, man. It's just like like, like today, I'm I'm all bitching and moaning about the uh, about Kenobi, and I don't like the Kenobi. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a fan of that thing, but you know, I gotta gotta finish the set. So yeah, you know, it's gotta gotta go gotta, for the channel. Do it for the uh, channel. <laughs> gotta do it. <laughs> gotta do it for the clan. Gotta they want to know. Hey, yeah, man, people want to know my opinion on that statue when it comes out. <laughs> what is it? Saw so that we're getting. So saw that we're getting a Darth Nihilus black. Darth series. Nihilus, that's actually yeah. already up for pre-order now. I did that yesterday. What'd you was, get that through uh, GameStop? GameStop, yeah, yeah. And I got to go to GameStop and find out what happened with my actual pre-order for the Darth Revan lightsaber because I still haven't yeah. got alerted for that. Thing. Graphics so, guy, what GI Joe figure is number thirteen? That's the Baroness. Uh, yes. Right. Yeah, because the, uh, the Cobra Trooper is twelve. Killer Clem Melinda, Seth, Alex Ross, Captain America coming. Cover is coming out. Oop, I'll have to be on the look for that. So, Craig, no, I didn't buy the Kenobi. <laughs> Fucking instigator. Always instigating. I love that guy. I know. He's the best. He is, man. I wish he lived closer. <laughs> I would. Uh, I wish we lived closer, too. I'd love to be in some of Craig's skits. Yeah, definitely. You maybe know, I, Especially maybe an I, Iron Man one. Yeah, right? Or, or maybe an Incredible Hulk one, because I would love to be the one to hit him with the car. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, what are the other ones that that I ordered? I I, I found a guy that caught that contacted me about some older uh, Star Wars figures, and I, and I may be picking up one of those. What the vin the vintage or black series? Um, the no, no the the uh, sideshow ones. So oh okay, I pick up a couple more of those. He had a good price on them, so we'll see what's up. Um, uh, CMD Geek is saying Heroes of Vendor. Ooh, did that drop yet? I want that. Is that the is that the one that I sent you with Han Solo and Yeah, yeah. That okay. was a convention exclusive also, but I don't think this the pre-order has dropped yet for that. That's another one that I want to order. That comes with the uh the Ewok, the speeder bike, Han Solo, uh Princess Leia and Luke, I think. Yeah. Troll Patrol is saying Darth Stank hooked on those action figures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We should call you Darth Darth Stankieth. Darth Stankieth, I'm the Stankieth. No, nah, man, I do I like the figures, man. You know what I like about the figures? It doesn't break my back to open them up. <laughs> That's not even, not, not not even, not even that. They're cheaper than a thousand dollar statue. They are cheaper than a thousand dollar statue. And then I get the pose. Think about how many. Think about how many figures you can buy for the price of a statue. Hey, don't get me wrong. I still love my statues. Every every time I get to do it, and then it breaks it up too. It's because it's like before I was doing statue review, statue review, statue review, statue review. After a while, it's like man, another statue review. I'm getting a little bit, a little bit stale for me. So yeah. now that I have the figures to kind of like you know. Do this a little bit of that, a little bit of this. You know, it it, uh, it makes it more fun for me, and I feel like I have more excitement when I do the video. So, what do you think DC is? What do you think DC is copying Marvel build a figure? Um, Are they? Some of, well, no. Well, those DC Universe figures that came out, the one, the multiverse ones that McFarlane makes, they're mm -hmm. not really so much build a figures. Like the first one that they did was. Um, the Batman who laughs, Nightwing and Batgirl, and then when and it came with a with each came with um an individual piece to build like the Batmobile. 
like a small mm -hmm. like a small Batmobile, not a not a big one. And then now they just announced um, something where yeah, they're gonna have a thing of a of a builder figure, which. DC when it wasn't when it wasn't the DC, the DC multiverse and it was um I think the DC collectors or whatever it was before they were they did have build the figure pieces in there because I can remember you could build um I think it was like you could build Alfred at one point or something like that and they had mm. a couple of couple of build a figure ones so okay. I don't know if it's exact, exactly copying per se but you know haha they're all turning junior to the dark side <clears throat> yeah, I know Junior's collecting GI Joes also. Yeah, so why is he out here fucking making fun of us for fucking with the figures? He's keeping his in the box. Oh, <laughs> oh man, yeah. J Rod, uh, to answer your question about that whole custom statue scam, I never got my money back. So at this point, it's just moot point. I leave it alone. Yeah, whatever. I have moved on. Have you? Have you moved on? Well, I don't collect customs anymore but other than that i moved on <laughs> i don't think i listen i am I'm, I'm congratulating you because you're the bigger man mm -hmm. if that was me every time i did a live video or every video i was in i would be purposely out there just talking shit running those people into the fucking ground yeah yeah you know because that that's just me i mean look what happened dude i ran target down into the ground enough to where now target's actually been working in my favor you know, I've been finding shit like left and right at Target. Maybe they were like, you know what? We're I never going to find them chicks, man. And then I'm trying to do like you. I get there and I'm looking for the girls, right? And I was like, I can't find a girl in sight. All I ever see is that dude Finn and his and his uh, lackeys. And it's like, man, I was like, why do I always get these dudes? So, man, yeah, maybe just Target. Maybe, yeah, maybe just Target. Exactly. This is what uh, Elm Street, Elm Street, where it's at, baby, is saying right now. Target got tired of the shit talking. Absolutely. Absolutely. Target got tired of me badgering them. Hey, Seth, what do you think of scalping and flipping is becoming a problem in the collecting community or is it production and demand of the product specifically? Right now, I would probably say it's more production and demand because of COVID. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, they're only, produce, they're only producing so many of things. And then obviously um, X amount of quantities of certain things are getting shipped to stores. So it's bringing out the worst than people. Whereas, you know, before COVID, you know, these stores would get their full shipments and then there would be enough to go around for everybody. But right now it's just a full on, it's a full on sprint in the mornings for like me and George to get to these stores so we can try to get what we, what we want for our collection. Yeah. And it's, it's bringing out the worst of some people. I mean, I've met, it's, I've met a lot of cool people now that I've been going out looking for these GI Joes. Um, just like that dude Johnny that hooked me up with the with the Cobra Trooper, and that's why when I found this extra one, you know, I want to pay it forward to one of you guys who are going to win it. Uh, so it's it's uh, it's cool that I've met it, that I've met some people in the community that are like, hey, I got an extra one, you know, let's trade for whatever that they're missing. And I think that that's kind of neat that I've seen people that do that. So, Craig, then, you know, Craig, Craig, Craig just gave me a funny idea in the chat. What's that? What I got I got to open up my case real fast. Reenact the white. <laughs> Martha! Let me see. There we go. Let me see. Let me get Batman. Get yeah. Batman out. <laughs> Here we go. So I'm going to be playing with my dolls right now on YouTube, okay, Junior? Okay. So. <laughs> Must save Martha. What did you say? What's that name? Must save Martha. Hey, that's my mom's name too. Did we just become best friends? Yep. You want to go do karate in the garage? Yep. <laughs> Martha. Why did you say that name? Where is she? <laughs> Martha. Martha. <laughs> oh, shit. You fucking guys, you're killing me with this shit. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> like a little kid you're damn right but it's fun though man this is you know like people don't under people don't understand you know with us buying like my wife does, still doesn't understand why i buy half of this shit you know it's because it it takes us it takes us back to a point in our lives where we forget about everything we have no responsibilities, no bills, 
no connection to the outside world. You know, it's it's just fun for us. You know, I look at Superman and it brings me back to, even though it's not Christopher Reeve, it brings me back to a time where I was sitting in my apart my apartment as a kid in New York, and I was watching watching super watching Superman one on uh, what was it laser disc? Not you for know. nothing. I like playing with my toys, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know, and and it's it, it's. <laughs> You know, but this is but this is nostalgia for us. You got me thinking about getting back into damn cards, but I don't want to collect these new cards. You know, after you talk, if you show me that old box, I just like all I want to get now Dude. is an original like X Men Volume One a card set. What What were the odds of me coming across a sealed Marvel masterpiece from 1993? Yeah, that's cool. What are the What were the odds of that? And I slim, enjoyed that as a kid. Slim man. to none. Slim to none. Yeah, slim to none. So, for those of you that are that are don't understand what we were talking about, if you guys watched my hunt video on Tuesday, um, way back when, which is an awesome vintage collectible store in uh, Coconut Creek or Margate, um, awesome owner, awesome workers. Shout out to Joey and shout out to Nilda if they're watching. Um, so I'm looking around the store and he has this case and there's old bunch of sealed cards. He had sealed Ninja Turtles, G.I. Joe boxes. He had the G.I. Joe trading cards sealed Damn. in the box, unopened, which you should probably go get since you're on such a G.I. Joe kick. Cobra! I'm so, serious, bro. These G.I. Joes, man, they, they take me back to when I had them as a kid. I had a ton of these things, man, and the vehicles and everything. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the vehicles for these six-inch figures because they're going to be big as shit. Yeah. But, uh, but you know, yeah, otherwise, I, it's cool. I found that box. It was a 1993 Marvel masterpiece. He had it at a reasonable price. I was like, shit, you know what? When was the last time I opened up a pack of trading cards? Yeah. You I know, it's cool. And, and I used to enjoy that so much as a kid because my uncle, that's what my uncle used to do when, uh, when I lived in New York. My uncle used to go to all the card shows and comic shows, and he would take me and my older brother with him. And that's how we got into to collecting and stuff like that. You know, I remember he bought my uncle gave me the very first complete edition of Marvel series number one cards. And and that was awesome. I love those cards. So but um but yeah, so I, I shot the video today. I opened up the box of cards, I got some really cool stuff. Um, you know, it's funny the box sitting there for all those years, unfortunately, some of the cards got stuck together, so mm -hmm. it was kind of uh kind of a you know a little bit of a, of a struggle to try to get through it but uh i would guys, like for us to get a set of a set of cards you get a box i get a box maybe even a couple boxes and then we'll do a, a stream i guess where we open up the boxes and see if we can get like a full set you trade okay, off cool. i think that'd be kind of cool troll patrol fun. we're just waiting for seth to collect dragon balls <laughs> not, not not a fucking chance in hell is that going <laughs> to happen Read my lips. <laughs> Dragon Balls. <clears throat> so, well, yeah, I think I think that's going to wrap it up, man. I mean, you know, people people want to watch football, and it's almost that that witching hour anyway. Yeah, man. So, um, thank you guys for joining us on another somewhat episode of the Hot Toy Lounge. It was it more. Wasn't. It was it was just more of a hangout tonight than than, than anything. Well, isn't that what you do at a lounge? I feel yeah. like I come onto the show more often and have a little you, bit of liquor next time. You, you, you know what you know what kind of bothers me is that sometimes with and it's funny because like I bitch and complain to you when we're off air that mm -hmm. some of these hot toys come with like way too many accessories mm -hmm. and then some of them hardly come with anything. And I hate the ones that hardly come with anything because then I feel like I just blow through the video real fast. Mm -hmm. And then the ones that have too many, I feel like it takes forever. And that's when I start dropping pieces all over the place, you know? Totally. And then, and then we have ones that are somewhat kind of just in the middle, which is like the perfect balance. So, True. but next week, next, next week's hot toy lounge, I can promise you will be a doozy because I picked up something pretty epic yesterday on my hunt. And and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys right now what I picked up yesterday is on Hulkbuster level. All right. So if you guys want to know what I'm talking about, unfortunately, you're just gonna have to wait till Tuesday's video. <laughs> so keep that in the back of your mind. Remember, Tuesday, September 15th, 10 a.m. Give it a watch, MCE. <laughs>
What's up, man? So, Remember, guys, uh, twenty thousand. Get us to twenty thousand. George will be putting out the giveaway instruction video within the next couple of days, and we will go from there. Guys, thank you as always for joining us on the lounge. We really appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. Bottoms up, drink up. We're in the lounge, and you guys keep it marvelous. <laughs> What's the matter, man? You, well, you did it. You said it, or you took my line. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't realize you were going to chime in with the keep it marvelous. Well, you did it already, so I can't well, do maybe, it. Well, maybe people will so say something else. Say my say my thing. Um. <laughs> I don't remember exactly how you sign off from this show. You, could, you, you don't have to sign off from this show. You can just do any show. And you could be like, until next time, guys, that's what's popping. All right. That's you what's popping. Wow, that was weak. Oh, my bad, man. You didn't do the Keep It Marvelous all that great either. Oh, that's right, guys. By the way, <laughs> this is my show, so I don't get caught off in the midst of thing. I have control over this. That's so right. I will sing you guys out. So... Guys, I can still end the broadcast at any time. Oh, I am going to end the broadcast. <laughs> like this, but whatever. So I'm going to sing us off. It's so hard to say goodbye to everyone in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We will see you. Bob, great. George doesn't watch Seth's videos. <laughs> Hashtag facts. All right, guys. That's not true. <laughs> Y'all see me in the chat every all the time. <laughs> <laughs> He's we're not talking about live streams, we're talking about the videos. <laughs> well, I know how you <laughs> Dick. <laughs> the biggest of them yeah. all. Sorry, King Dingling. Tonight I earn the title of King Dingling. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it marvelous, people. All right, later, guys. <laughs>